Let's make this animation using rigid body slider constant. As you can see, we have this scene with a basic setup. Now select the top object, go to the physics tab, click rigid body and set the type to passive. Next select the bottom object, add a rigid body and set the type to active. Now select the top object, then shift select the bottom object, go to the object menu, click rigid body and select connect. This connect the object and automatically create an empty. This will act as the constraint. Select the empty and change its type to slider. We want the bottom object to slide along the z axis, but the slider works along the empties x-axis to so enable the x-axis and rotate the empty to 90 degrees hit play and you will see the bottom object slide down one meter to fix that set x lower to zero now let's animate the rotation select the middle object go to the frame one press k to insert the rotation keyframe jump to frame 30 press r y 360 to rotate it 360 degree and press k again to keyframe it to make the rotation endless select all keyframes press shift a and set them to cyclic we are almost done but the animation needs a few tweaks go back to the physics tab add a rigid body to the middle object set the type to active and enable animated now to prevent unwanted movement go to the object data properties and lock location x and y to ensure it only moves along the z axis and also lock rotation x y and z to avoid any rotation issue hit play to see the animation as you can see we have a bounciness let's fix this select the empty and in the physics tab set the upper limit to zero and that's it the top object rotates and pushes the bottom one down smoothly all with a rigid body slider constraint follow rtv for more